the brain of Morbius. Five pros, five cons. Five pros. A very distinct and visceral horror focus in the storyline shines through in the production visually, makes the serial more enjoyable than the average entry in the series. Fairly good scripts. Reading this independently of the production would still be a fairly fun experience, I suspect. The performance is a strong baker and Sladen goes without saying, but the performers for Solon, his Igor, the sisterhood, and Morbius voice roll all fine components. Some of the deliberately creepy, gory facets of this serial I really appreciate. They demonstrate the danger of the universe and the savagery of some of its denizens in a manner that isn't quite reduced to childhood fare, but rather serious, frightening instances of confronting violence. Very potent sci-fi elements. Obviously, we can appreciate the horror here, as many do of this Hinchcliffe Holmes epoch, but how much better that it is rooted in a science fiction disposition, grounding it as a cerebral venture rather than a supernatural woo-woo, as say even Planet of Evil can somewhat, they're not entirely either, fall into, sadly. Five cons. Captors and escapes. Just bugger off already. Forced into a four-parter, I can only suspect that this is due to being scripted by Terence Dix before Holmes really juiced it up, but it still has a Dix-era who, Pertwee epoch, Peladon-esque structure, that annoys me to a point, but the dressing laboured over it via Holmes, a stupendous direction from Christopher Barry, really improves this serial as an end product. For what it is worth, Sarah Jane feels a bit too much like a damsel here compared to some of her finer highlights. Even if this is otherwise one of the better serials she is in, most of them are good to my immediate memory, so very good for her. I wanted more Morbius. He is one of the most potentially interesting, or even still just overtly interesting, of Doctor Who villains. He had a lot of focus on Solon, who is highly interesting in his own right, to be perfectly fair, and that sisterhood of Khan. Interesting characters again, but I'm thinking, more of that brain, that's wild, man. I want to see that guy again, or whatever is still left of him anyway. I wish this had the intimidating seriousness of Pyramids of Mars more so, or the Zygons had even. This is closer to the planet of evil gothic escapade rather than the dangerous existential dread of who at its very best. Even serials like Ark in Space and Horror of Fang Rock can feel this way, more so than Brain of Morbius, vaguely.